Good morning. That is one refreshing way to start a day. Welcome your faces to a new dawn and a new day. Ooh. This is how I start my day. I have to whisper and be careful because my girlfriend and my son are sleeping. So shh. But at the same time, cock a doodle do. What do I have in store for you? <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, little weed. 10.30 in the AM. And your boy is up and awake. I'm immediately throwing this out here that I have decided I need more hours in my day. So I need to change my 10 AM wake up scheduling to a whopping 9 AM. Because even though it'll only be one extra hour, it means I'll have more daylight to vlog. But enough talk about time zones. We're going to get ourselves a bowl. Some O cereal. Shreddy style. We're setting ourselves up for the rest of the day. Wait, well, come on, can we have some good news? Come on, can we have some good news? It is now the 2nd of January, 2024. Where is time going? And I am hoping that businesses, more particularly lawyers and solicitors offices, are now back open and I can get productive. Because I am waiting responses on the Super Secret Project. And it's time to find out if we've had a response. And the survey says... No. For feck's sake. Mm, I'm now going to find myself having a bit of twiddly thumb syndrome because this year I want to get on with the Super Secret Project more than ever. That said, I do have stuff around my house that's not so secret and I just need to get sorted. And we should probably start with this barnet. But I can't get that sorted yet, so stop judging me saying I look like an absolute nerd. I'm booked in with a barber in two more days. So until then, expecto patronum. Okay, proactive Tom is being proactive Tom. And I've just sent a text to a building team that I was in discussions about doing the house extension with. If we put a picture on screen now of the house, that is what we were wanting to do with it. However, just cost of materials have been so damn high after like everything that was going on in Ukraine and COVID and stuff like that. Uh, everything's just been insane and it's kind of still not come down at all. And this just all got put on pause. Now, I know you guys already know about that because I sound like a bit of a broken record because we were supposed to get the house project done and then the house next door came up. We were supposed to do the house next door, but then family members and health issues and stuff like that all arose and everything just got put on pause but then the secret project's in the mix and with the secret project that takes all my time and attention away from this this or absolutely anything it'd be the biggest thing i'd ever take on in my life and probably be the thing that makes me completely bald but it is what it is and what it currently is is me sat waiting around it's been five months in the work so far the secret project and time is just ticking on by and i'm not happy about it so i want to be productive in a way of something that can actually affect my life for the better and future proof us for moving forward so the text i have sent out is about the front of the house in the drive. So what I'm proposing and suggesting that we look into is turning the drive into a flat usable space like you can see on this diagram. Because as it stands at this very moment in time, you have to park in single car order. And if I want to get out, Lydia has to move her car and vice versa and blah, blah, blah. It ends up just being annoying, but it's not the end of the world. However, as you've heard, we're looking at switching out Lydia's car for a new family car, which is going to be a much bigger vehicle. And as you can see, Lydia's car fits happily in between this gap. But when you open the door to get the baby out, you are almost smashing into the wall every single time. And on this side, almost smashing into the post. To which it's got me worried that if we're going to upgrade to a family car and it's going to be much bigger and much wider, we're going to have a massive problem on our hands and i can already hear people now saying tom why don't you just park the car around the back well i'm just going to answer it with i've tried walking down this at the best of times and it is a bit slippy it's a bit wet and it's extremely steep so doing that with a child in your hands is not really the safest option so this is where the idea comes into play we future proof the drive from going from this height level from the front door and carrying it all the way up and towards that wall which has always been the groundwork plan for getting the extension work done and it's quite possibly one of the most stressful parts of the build because we've got the underground wire and a main supply going into the house as well as this being a massive retaining wall so to secure that from the road falling in on us is gonna be a very big job but if we do it and level all of this out we'll actually be able to fit two cars parallel next to each other which would then probably work out as six cars if we needed to but then in the future allow the extension to easily be built method to the madness so i've sent a text i'm hoping to see the builders this week and we'll see what they're saying this jordan is how i start my day <laughs> what does it look like from your perspective lydia reluctantly takes the camera and i'm boogieing to my music and my plan for my day has fallen apart because it's raining why don't you look impressed? <laughs> <laughs> My boy. Now listen, I know you're moving down to London. He's precarious. Okay. Like you're leaving us. Yeah. You're going to disappear. Yeah. So I think it's only right that for your journey ahead in life, okay. I give you a present. Okay. 
Oh! Yeah. Yeah. You've already got one, apparently. Unlucky loser. <laughs> I saw how much joy it brought you. So I thought, on your journey forward in life, may the light show you the way. Can I just say, I love how you sold it to me, that there's three, one for each member of our family, and you've just given one away. It's going to a better place. It's going to a better home. This is my gift as a best of luck on your adventure, and uh, I'm sorry for using the Scottish accent so much around you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Mate, he's woken up like, wait, five seconds ago, were you dancing on a table? <laughs> Crikey, Joe, lad. Since when can I shit in peace? Oh my God. I was, I was mid-wipe underneath and all of a sudden, six foot eight guy rolls in, shit myself. Literally. I've never panicked so much to retrieve my hat back and go, stay away. Yeah. Flipping heck. Whew, flustered a bit. I know you're going to Scotland today. You've all got your things, but we need to be aware of the situation. There is apparently going to be a major storm today and its name is Storm Henk. It's officially been announced on screen now. H-E-N-K, Henk. So my plans for the day are scuttled. All right, Storm Henk. Ye did not stand a chance against me today because I'm wearing a Syndicate original hat, but not just any hat. <coughs> a sand and white hat. You were just gonna leave. You were gonna leave without your first gift. You're iron bro. Oh You're fucking iron bro. Unbelievable. Just can't get the Scottish friends, man. <laughs> I hope you go to London and never come back. I take that back. I swear I don't mean that. I promise. <laughs> right, the Scots gone, and I'm trying to go, but I need to make the bed. <sighs> Job done. Oh, <sighs> try that one again. Job done. Let's go on an adventure. Where I'm actually going to say this, Storm Garrett may have scuppered me. Or I think the word I was looking for there was scuppered. Because as I am the man with a plan, today I was hoping to get motivated as I sneak through the secret garden, through to the house next door, and I look at my nemesis. What was once a fun project is now a leaking broken pool that we need to remove off. But ye shall notice there's lots of water in there that we need to disperse off. So I need to put a hose pipe in there and run it off to the drainage in the corner. Which luckily I do have a hose pipe that long. However, that's going to take hours upon hours upon hours to empty. As I'm simply not just like cutting a hole in it because it will flood the trees in the garden. And that's not what we want. So instead, we've got to empty it. However, this rain you're seeing now is nothing. There is a really massive torrential sort of storm heading our way, of which if I start to empty this out now, it's just going to keep filling itself back up. So it'll just be a complete waste of time. But for when the rain stops and we start emptying it, I'm going to need a specific tool to dismantle this thing. I would love to say I could take it apart in pieces and like store it for another day, but it is bent, broken and smashed in pieces to the point where it is. Past the point of no return. So there's only one tool for... Ah! So there's only one tool for this job and I don't have it. So hop up in the whoop, we get my drive on and take a second to shout out Andy the garden. Look at that, all the fireworks stuff from the garden's gone already. May have left a burnt patch in the lawn though. My bad. But it'll be fine. We've got an Andy. Ooh, okay, block and quail. Yeah, better have what I want. <laughs> One pound bucket, don't mind if I do. It's a pound, how can you not? No, I know this is gonna seem a bit random because I have a log fire, not coal fire, but mm, I think I've got a good use for this. But let's stay focused and on task because we're here for an electric grinder. Now I have a wired one, which I used to get into the safe in the house next door, roll clip. But I'm basically after a handheld one. So which one of these is my one? I'm gonna guess it's that one that looks like it's been sold out. Most likely to motorbike thieves. Okay, I've been given a piece of paper and I've been told they have some in stock. Now I just need some discs. Gonna give this one a go? Cause to me that says it does brick and metal. So sure. Okay, they're checking the stock. Oh, mega, yeah. Do them ones work with it? He said yes. And it's probably a good idea for me to get like a safety guard or mask. I did just ask a member of staff which one she would recommend and no joke, she recommended something like a COVID breathing mask. And I was like, I've seen too many TikToks of metal shards going Doomph! in people's faces. So I don't think that's gonna stop a metal bullet. But unfortunately I can't find one here, but I'm 99% sure I've got one at home. So winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm so glad I managed to get it. Honestly, I think I've been in there twice for one of these. And every time I go in there, they're all sold out. And when I do speak to the person, they're, all, they're always like, yeah, it's someone probably buying it for uh, taking like motorbike locks off and stuff. But I probably look like the kind of person ripping motorbike locks off as well. But um, can we just also say, Nice defender. Mr. A.M.M. Brown, tree surgeon. But not as nice as that, but... 
Oh no! What? Missing person? Well, here's me doing my bit. If anyone sees this little girl, make sure you get in touch. Whew, right, um, my defender luckily doesn't smell like gone off milk. Glad I cleaned it when I did. Successful mission was successful. Now we just need to wait for this weather to pass. But uh, yeah, as I've heard on the radio, it's supposed to be like torrential rain till 8 p.m. Mm. Now I'm just randomly pulling up by the side of massive mills because I've driven past this like my entire life. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that. I'm actually going to pull over it and say hello to it. So hello, Mr. Mill. And I just found a number on the sign down there to actually ring up and see what the availability of space is in here. Because listen, I mean, you know me and all my super secret projects. I'm constantly after land, space or whatever and i've been trying to secure something for quite a while now but it's it's not been happening a lot of people keep saying like oh my gosh tom is it that is it that factory that you saw near your house i got seven million pounds uh if you would like to contribute 12 billion each we'll soon be able to afford it but no it is not that to the point where i'm like i'm not having all my eggs in one basket with a super secret project that's so close to being finished but as from experience i'm so used to things just falling through that i'm keeping my options open so i thought i'd just call by this and have a look because gosh look at the size of this factory and more particularly the entire top floor imagine that as like a paintball airsoft or go-kart arena i would just love it i would absolutely love it so i've got a phone number and i'm ringing them up to see if it's available and what the price is <laughs> Because if plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G fails, you've always got to go for plan Z. I just made a phone call and asked what the yearly rent of an entire top, get off raindrop, what the entire rent of a year would be for the entire top floor, because it's 36,000 square feet. So a hecking lot of space. Comes in at a whopping 34,000 pounds a year in rent. So if I was ever to pick up a factory, which is like always, you know, one of my dream things to do, um, I would have to create one of the most successful businesses out of it to even keep it running. But spoiler alert, um, he actually said that the people up there have actually expanded to the entire top floor. So as much as it looks abandoned, it's not. And it's making the factory owners a lot of money. That's like absolutely ridiculous. Like 40 grand a floor a year. Like I'm sure there's obviously a lot of upkeep and stuff that I don't know about, but wow, that is absolutely insane. Like that's why if I ever owned an entire factory, renting the entire floors out for things would just be huge. But thank you, Mr. Man who owns the mill. He didn't just palm off and was like no it's not available no i'm not telling you anything he answered my questions and was very useful so thank you very much i do appreciate that and just to clarify if that was free and available i would not be looking at like going ahead and renting it it's a bit further away from my house but i've always seen it and i've always wondered like what are the price and costs involved with factories like this um like do you remember when i actually spoke to that guy at the factory near me and he was just like seven million for it that that's the price see you later that was just the end of the conversation you know what i mean there wasn't any there wasn't any useful takeaway information whereas now it's actually interesting to know how much they charge for this sort of stuff one pound 20 a square meter it all adds up and that is a lot of square meters all right that's enough of me being distracted let's get on with the day where i've found him yes i'm at swell for food for kevin Ooh, looks like they've got new reptiles in what is that hello there rico the fiji banded iguana me you are beautiful and i'm gonna make this shenanigans afoot listen i usually come in here and have a shootout i, c I can see you in the reflection i can see you Damn it, why did I ha leave my gun on the side? No, take mercy on me, take mercy. I've literally got my hands up in the air. How are you shooting me? Th this, you're committing war crimes. No prisoners in air, pal. I came in and, and I, I came in with my gun that had no bullets and I went, bang, what do you got you? Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with it? Don't what, what's wrong with you? You know what, screw you guys, I'm going pets at home. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay, wait, can I borrow it? Yeah, why did you give it me back? You idiot. Mm, looks like I'm not going anywhere. I'm freaking trapped behind a wagon. Always fun to see the guys at Swell. I'm like really hoping the owners are like, can you just not come in here and do shootouts? But we always do it like when it's a safe environment. Like no no, no fish were hurt, hurt in the making of the shootout. Um, I've come for food and substance and unfortunately there is ambulances outside my local Starbucks. Hoping everyone is all right. Well, I've got my supplies and by the time I've been inside and I'm going out, there is now a fire engine. Yikes, apparently someone's fallen in the shower downstairs in the changing rooms and um, really hurt the hip, so yeah, like I said, hoping they're all right. This door shot flipping out, man. The rain is really coming down now. So we're gonna take a second to hide from the storm and enjoy our signature breakfast sandwich at two o'clock, apparently. Um, the person who's, who's hurt in there got injured at, at 12 o'clock. It's 10 past two now. 
Flipping it, man. Mate, what what a what a start 2024 has been like. I, I've been looking on the news and what Japan got rocked by an earthquake, and then today in Japan as well, like it's like something from a disaster movie. A plane's landed on the runway, crashed into another smaller coastal plane that had five people on it, which I believe may have unfortunately lost their lives. Um, but like 360 plus people on the big like passenger plane, um, they've all survived. It, it's like, what is going on? Like the, the, the scenes of it, like if I put the news out on screen now, it's like something from a horror movie. It's absolutely crazy. But like, the reason why I'm so like stunned by like, oh my gosh, it's Japan, Japan, is Lydia's sister's going off to Japan like later this month. Like flipping heck. You're crazy. Hey, you never know what's around the corner. Because in this case, it's me use. It's wet and it's cold and it's miserable. And I bloody love Andy the gardener. He's got the hose pipe at the ready to put in the pool and empty into the drain. And are you ready to just understand how my brain thinks? Are you ready for this? So I was tempted to just go and buy a massive barrel, right? And see how much rainwater I could catch. Yep, 30 years old. I am man. I have a child and responsibilities and I want to know how much rain I could catch. I was like, I've got a tarp in the house. I could like peg out the tarp or like put it against like the three corners up there and then have it pour into the barrel and see if I could catch loads of rainwater. And then I was like, well, what's the point of me doing that? And then I thought, this room is the swimming pool. I was like, well, I'm going to have to empty that out for the work that's getting done in it. Like, unfortunately, it's not the case where it's like, oh, you can just take a little bit out. It needs emptying to replace everything that we're fixing. Um, so I was like, maybe we could try and... <laughs> Hear me out here. Maybe we could try and catch enough rainwater to fill the swimming pool. You know, because water bills nowadays are expensive. So I was like, where better to get it from than the sky? Now, obviously, it... It, it probably is going to come down with nuclear radiation in it, you know, power plants and stuff. So, it, it you know, it's a, it's a bit of a risky business, but we throw some chemicals in it. You know, nuclear radiation, chlorine. What's the, what's the worst that could happen? But that's literally how my brain thinks. The more you know. One task at a time. Ah, bloody hell, it's the stiffest door ever, that. Does anyone know where I can get this fixed to be... A bit easier. It's not that I'm not stronger, it's that it's too bloody stiff. Now, let's grab our haul. We've got a battery uh, grinder, we have a bucket and discs, and we have this. I'm sure people are like, Tom, why on earth did you buy a coal thing when you don't use coal? Well, I'm going to show you. Oh, honey, I'm home. I bring you supplies. My boy. Hello. Hello. Oh, I can't wait for him to be old and to come on adventures with me. It's going to be so much fun, but right. Why did I buy this? Oh, well, you see my fireplace. And you see inside it. I have all this ash and I have, oh, that's the wrong thing. Do, 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 do. I have this little shovel. And what I'm going to do with it is shovel it into there and then, oh no, where do I put this? Oh, ho, ho. The floor, apparently. We'll try that one again. We scoop it up and then oh, throw it into there. I've kind of made a lot of mess, to be fair. But I have kind of proven a point if I'm very delicate with it. It's the perfect size for me to throw me, me ashes into. Not me nan. We won't put her in there. <laughs> but for £3.50 on sale or whatever it was, this is, this is a bloody bargain. Go on. And then I can empty that easily. In with a bit of a brush. Job done. Hey, oh, this banging outside my house. What's going on? What are you doing? What are you doing? Shit. Well, I think I've just woke Alfie up, as I may or may not have forgotten about Lydia's food that I put in the grill. I'm so sorry. Did you turn it around this time? Mama? I did turn it around, but one side got more burnt than the other. I'm in the doghouse. See, I've scared the literal mm, out of somebody. Oh, Lord. So with that taken care of, you big smelly boy. I can use you as a guilt trip method to say, sorry, mum, didn't mean to wake you up. Apologies. Five minutes later, I think mum's now happy with me and child fast asleep. Really random, I'm gonna pop out because I want to do something with my new glasses. The ones with the camera in them. So I will be leaving them and taking these and I'll be right back. <laughs> the, people say they suit me and I don't mind them, but they're just very big. Ah, it's whatever. Hey, listen, it's a camera built into my glasses. I love it. Haven't quite questioned this fact of, should I actually even be wearing these in the rain? 
because I don't want to get them damaged in the slightest. I'd assume they're sprinkle proof. And I guess there's only one way to find out, but there's something that I want to film whilst I'm driving with these on. So let's go do it. <laughs> oh, I'm really hoping that the, the lighting isn't too bad because with like a non HD camera with bad lighting, it looks super, super potato. So you're just gonna have to bear with me. And we're gonna hope for the best. I'm gonna take my hood down uh, in the hopes that I don't make right, Calm down. Bloody hell, calm down, right. Are we ready for, whoa! Copyright, Tom's stupid idea! Oh my gosh, imagine, look at the size of it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, okay, okay, we got this. We're gonna quickly swing into the shell. Dun, 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 dun. But we're instantly spinning this bad boy round. Are we clear? We are clear and we are good to go. <laughs> I'm such an idiot, but I love it. Okie dokie, Jones. Look at, <laughs> look at all these cars avoiding it. Are you ready? I've got my window open like an idiot. Are you ready? Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> oh, that was, that was amazing. I love it. <laughs> it is worth throwing out there that I totally understand like the quality of this camera isn't like the best and I could like just like say wear my like head mount with a GoPro on it and get much better quality which honestly I'd almost prefer to do because then you guys don't have to watch it in like the thin weird slither it's in but that that's what this is de designed for it's designed for it to be you know oh so you can post it straight to instagram because it's owned by facebook so uh or, or meta even so it is one of those it's not the the best way for me to film but to film hands-free like i literally can shout it like hey meta, start recording and it will do like it's really really good so i don't know man it's it's Hopefully we see some updates and some upgrades to it, and then this will be even better. Now, as much fun as I've had with that puddle, I know of a bigger one, so we're going. And all right, are you ready? We're starting to get closer to where this massive puddle is. Look at these ones here. These ones are pretty big, all along this corner and stuff, but just around this bend, this puddle is insane. And are you ready? Look at this one. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> That's amazing! There's another one! You ready? Look at everyone avoiding it! Nope! Oh man, <laughs> look at all the water pouring off my roof! Oh my gosh, just too much fun. Too much fun. I'm actually a little bit gutted that I wasn't wearing these glasses earlier today because as I was just driving along minding my own business, someone on a quad bike went flying past me on the pavement and I was just watching them in awe of like, what are you doing? That, and I can just film like terrible drivers doing stupid things um, at the, the whim of a, hey, click record, you know what I mean? It's, it's brilliant, but I hope I'm gonna get stuck here in a red light section. Let me through, let me through. Why are you doing five miles per hour, you big sausage? What are you doing? And you know what? I've actually just watched back the playback of the glasses view and it's actually not that bad. Like, it's pretty good. The low lighting I thought would be much darker. So I'm quite impressed with it. So before it goes too dark, 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 I'm gonna quickly head over to this next puddle and give ourselves a splish and a splash. Well, flip it out. What are you doing, no bad? Fucking dickhead. Look at the size of this puddle. Look at that. Oh, 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 I'm coming for you. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, are we ready? I'm putting my window up. <laughs> Look at everyone avoiding this puddle. I'm just going to go straight through it. Yeah! Woo oh, I love it. It's so much fun. Well, I'm uh, so glad I've basically come out in rush hour traffic, four o'clock, just to uh, come out and have fun splashing through puddles for your guys' entertainment. If you enjoyed this segment of the vlog, please do me a favour and leave a like rating. Now, in randomness.com, I'm just on my way home and I'm like, you know what? I've just seen a new place that's opened in my local area that I want to go to. And it's this Lily Thai massage place. And I'm like, yes, just gave him a ring. And I'm like, can I come in for a head massage? And they said yes. So I thought, you know what? I've been wearing a hat all day. A bit of a... What? I thought I, broke the, I thought I broke the door then, sorry. I popped into it for a 20 minute head massage though. 
I'm gonna be back once my scalp's been scratched. Ah, I went in for a head massage and I feel like I've come out absolutely battered. Like she gave me a head scalp massage, which is what I wanted, which was lovely. But then she was like, oh yeah, I'll do your shoulders as well. And she was like, oh, your back's very tense. Can I try and crack your back at the end? So I put my hands behind my head like that. She she went, I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing you. And in three, I'm gonna crack your back. So she went one, two, three, and nearly threw me off the massage bed. So, um, interesting experience to say the least. And I've yet to mention the fact that she said, oh, can I use this tiger burn or tiger oil or something on your head? And she's put it here, 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 and on my neck. And I feel like my entire body is on fire. Oh, and go on, let's go for one more puddle splash soon as all the rains come down a bit more. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins! Well, I don't care what anyone says. Only adventuring out to test these glasses through puddles was worth it. No, it's good to be home because Lydia should be here waiting for me. Wait a minute. Lydia? 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 Wait a minute. What? <laughs> Are you watching my micro project? <laughs> You've got to start him young. I just wanted to see that. If I put my voice up on screen, would he react and recognise it? But I just realised he can't see any of my face on screen because I didn't have webcam back then. So I've just quickly switched to episode one of My Night to see if he can recognise me in the slightest. And he's paying attention, but this guy's too young to do like screen time or understand any of this or even... Well, I don't know, he's actually kind of looking at it. So have I kind of done myself a solid in the past by recording hundreds of hours of me playing Minecraft so when I'm like, oh, I need to go and quickly make a brew, it can distract him. Rather than him watching like bouncing fruit on the screen, he can watch the world of Minite be built. Absolutely brilliant. Now, you might actually notice that there is no Lydia in the house. Like you can't hear her and you can't see it. And that's because she's had a bit of a family friend emergency. I know, I know I'm rubbish at building lighthouses. Don't worry about it. But yeah, Lydia's actually had a family friend emergency. So she's had to pop out the house. Lydia's mum popped around whilst I was gone, took care of Alfie. And then when I got back, relieved her of babysitting duties. So it's now just me and little dude chilling in the house until she gets back. And as I'm watching the side men eat food, I'm hungry, so I've ordered some Tim Hortons. Where is my driver? There he is. Anyway, mate. B E A beautiful. Yeah, boys got some food. So, Sidemen, thank you very much for the inspiration. I've gone for Tim Hortons, like I said, where I've ordered a burger, because I've never had one from there before, and that looks pretty dire, to be honest. And then I ordered a cheeseburger, which, um, at the same time, oh my gosh, I'm going to lose my cheeseburger. Yep, chicken burger. And that looks absolutely minuscule as well. Where the, where the hell's the rest of my food? And they do waffle fries at Tim Hortons, so let's go for a taste test. Mm. They're cold and not very flavorful. Kind of tastes like cardboard. Mm. Like I said, never had a Tim Hortons like burger before, so I'm going to try it. And the double cheeseburger is saying, oh. Mm. 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 That's terrible. That tastes like. A microwave burger. That's actually that bad that I would leave that. And now time to try the chicken burger. Mm. 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 Not that bad. I'd love to see if I can actually see his genuine reaction when Lydia walks through this door any minute. My little sister! Hey baby! <laughs> I was helping you We're flipping hecka. This has been my uh, position for the last, like, I don't know, two hours. And I can confirm, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting old. I'm getting really, really old. We just put some, like, Netflix show on. I think it's called Fill Me Once. Something like that. And 15 minutes into it, it's 9 o'clock at night. I fell fast asleep. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm old man Tom. I can't even stay awake to watch a Netflix show. Like, I, I refuse to be that person. I remember when I was a kid... And we used to sit down with my dad and we'd watch a movie. And I'd be there, like, ready watching the start of it, like, oh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. And I'd turn to my dad and he'd just be like, <laughs> So it would seem I've evolved to my next step of fatherhood. But if we bring things back to the vlog, in this video I uploaded, I mentioned about a certain flashlight um, that is apparently the world's brightest flashlight coming in at like 100 plus thousand lumens. And that if the vlog got 10,000 light gratings, I would buy said torch. And would you look at that? <laughs> 
this torch is coming in at a whopping £529.95. pence. But at least I can use Prime and get free delivery. But I've gone down a bit of a rabbit hole. I decided to go ahead and click this, which took me to the brand's landing page. And if you actually go over the torch I'm looking at, right, this is the one. It says 100,000 lumens. Okay. That's great. But if you look at this one next to it, this one's got 120,000 lumens. So technically, that other one is the brightest one, but also coming in at nearly an extra £100 more. One of the reviews says it's almost too bright and it's so hot that you could cook your eggs on it. Well, Mr. Minsky, I think we might just have to do it. But I'm going to let you guys decide. Do we go big or do we go bigger? So leave your comments down below as to what we should do. I I'm all for it. Like this one's got a literal fan built into it to keep it cool. And I would be very excited to go on an adventure with that and test it to its entirety. But guys, it is nearly midnight and I'm going to need to wrap up this vlog now. So if you're excited for a flashlight review incoming very soon where we may be cooking eggs on it, then leave a like button, make sure you click that subscribe button, and I will see you guys tomorrow at 7pm-ish for the next weekday vlog. So until then, guys, thank you for watching. I love you, I appreciate you, and until next time, as always, I adios.